So, okay, welcome to this unboxing video. I'm going to do an unboxing of um, Tentive 4 for the X-Wing Miniatures game. Uh, as you can see, it's quite a large ship, so I'm having trouble fitting all the box inside the frame. As you all know, this is uh, Princess Leia's ship from uh, A New Hope. She traveled in uh, when uh, she was attacked and captured by Darth Vader. And uh, it's also her father, Bail Organa's ship. You can see it at the end of episode 3, uh, Revenge of the Sith. But this is for the Rebellion area ship. And uh, it's for Fantasy Flight's miniatures game, X-Wing. So let's open it up and see what we got inside. We have the ship, of course. We'll come to that later. These are um, supports for the ship. We get a Ziploc bag with three cardboard boards with tokens and rulers and stuff. Some cards. Base. Should be one more. These ships are so big that uh, they have to use double bases. We get a mission sheet for the campaign. It's double sided, but it's um, the same on both sides. And of course, I think you had permission to photocopy it for personal use. We have a rule book with uh, all the components. This tells us um, what all the tokens are, how to deal with damage, how it attacks, how to assemble it, how it moves, and so on. You can even use it as an obstacle, but it's terrain in ordinary um, dogfights. And we get the maneuver template and uh, Oh my, is that Stormtroopers? On the Tentive 4. This should be an um, alternative ending, I think. We also get get a mission book booklet, and this is actually a small campaign consisting of four linked adventures, four linked missions, uh, where the outcome of the each mission will affect which scenario you play next. So if the Rebels wins the first, you go to this, and then if the Imperials win, you go to this. And of course, uh, the end one is the same. But uh, since it's a campaign, you can't use pilots that die in the earlier scenarios. Should be some fun, I think. We have setup rooms. Each one, of course, features the Tentive 4. Onto the cards. This, let's see if we can get some focus. This is a hyperdrive card. It's used in one of the mission scenarios, I think in the campaign. Same on both sides. And I assume when you fill it up with tokens, you jump to hyperspace. We get a rules sheet for a rules card. For the ion token. I'm not sure why, because I don't think the Tantive 4 has ion cannons on board, but um, maybe it's just for completeness sake. Uh, and we have, um, let's see, can we do some more focus? These are the uh, cards, ship cards. And these are the damage sides. This one is full, this one is full. So the Tantive 4 is so large that it comes with two 
cards. Each has a point cost and uh, some stats and actions. And um, when you destroy one section, you flip the card over. And as you can see, it still has some, but not as many stats and some actions. And if you destroy both sections, it is of course destroyed. We get a lot of upgrade cards. Um, let's separate them out a bit. Um, these are the special damage cards. The Tentive 4 comes with its own damage deck and um, they are a bit mixed together because I opened this and took a look earlier. Um, as you can see we have uh, different cards for fore and aft. So depending on which part you fire on, you deal different damage cards. Because uh, there are different things in different parts of the ship. And they all come with um, different backside. So um, I think Oh, it's like this. So um, you don't have any trouble separating them or drawing from the wrong. And uh, as you can see, the camera is trying to focus on the cars in the back. Uh, we get some passengers or crew. This is Leia Organa, rebel only, and uh, she has an ordinary crew icon, so she can be a crew on, for example, Millennium Falcon or the HWK290. Same as R2D2, it can also be a crew. Note that he is a crew and not um, an astromech. C3P, of course, is a crew as well. And we get Han Solo as a crew. Um, earlier, he has only been a pilot on the Millennium Falcon, but now you can have him as a crew, for instance, on Millennium Falcon, but when uh, Chewbacca is flying, if you'd like. This is a team. Um, another icon, only available to huge ships, and uh, you get um, three of them. Sensor team, engineering team, and gunnery team, and um, the um, Tantive 4 can only take three teams, and you get one of each, so you cannot duplicate them. Ramus Antilles, I think he is Captain Antilles, um, the captain of Tantive 4, of course. Targeting coordinator, uh, a crew. He can be on another ship, small ship, because he's, he has an ordinary crew symbol. Uh, but his effect concerns energy, and only huge ships uh, use energy. This is a title card for the Tentive 4. Gets an additional team and um, crew. This is Jaina's Light. Um, I don't remember the lore for Jaina's Light, but um, it's another ship. And this is Dodonna's Pride. And if you remember, General John Dodonna is a general in the, in the rebel fleet. Or maybe in the army. I don't know. He's a rebel general. We have some upgrades, comms boosters, backup shield generator, engine booster, ionization reactor, Tybana gas supplies, gives you more energy. Quad laser cannons, these are um, actually pretty hard. Range 1, 2. Range 1, 2. You can spend energy to perform attacks again. And these are turbo lasers. And you can see range 3 to 5, they can fire longer. But you actually get more defense dice, evade dice, when you are fired upon. But uh, they can hurt if you venture too close. So three single turbo lasers. That's all the cards. Let's take a look at the tokens.
Here's the new um, firing template. As you can see, it's made up of two parts that goes up to five. And um, I'm not sure if you can see it. There are holes here and here, which you use to um, attach it here and here. So you get one that is five long. Uh, we get a bunch of um, energy symbols. Ion tokens. I'm not sure if this is something special for huge ships or if it's tied to some mission. Uh, this is an explosion with a two on. And if we flip it over, uh, we get a one. And likewise, all these tokens, they are the same on one side. But if we, if we flip it over, um, every other is blank and every other has uh, three diamond symbols on them. I'm not sure what they represent so far. Here we have the new maneuver template, which I use to maneuver. It's different than the other maneuvers because huge ships move in a different way. Um, I'm actually going to flip this one over. And we get another target lock set of icons. Yay! I think I have a gazillion of them right now. Shield token. More shield tokens. More of these explosions, which are marked one or two. Um, these are um, scanner tokens. I'm not sure how they are used, but um, they look good. If we flip it over, we see that this large black um, token is a cargo container. It has two defense and three hull, so um, it's probably used for one of the missions. This is a reinforce action um, sort of token. We only got, get one uh, and it's uh, the evade for the huge ships. We can't use evade, but we can use reinforce, sort of brace for impact. And as you can see, the scanning tokens are the same on both sides. And the last one, we get the huge double base. And we also have uh, two of these small satellites. We get them in the base. I'm not sure why we get two more. Proof of purchase. Ooh, this proves I have purchased it and I didn't steal it or anything. I don't know. Um, I collect this, I'm not sure why. These are hyperspace tokens. You put them on a hyperspace card when you go to hyperspace, I presume. More shield tokens. We get a lot of those. The maneuver wheel. We doesn't have a lot of maneuvers. One bank, no, one straight. Two bank, two straight, two bank, three straight, and four straight. Not sure what these diamonds are. Maybe energy, I don't know. It costs less to go further. I'm not sure why. Um, I'm, prob I'm probably wrong. I'm going to look that up. So let's try and uh, get this ship out of its box. Some inside plastic as well. And this is too hard to do on camera, so I'm not going to take it out of this one, I think. But as you can see, there's a lot of uh, very nice details. I don't know if this one rotates. I hope I don't break it. There. If I try. Yes, it actually rotates a little bit. Very nice. Oh, it pops out. So. 
It's actually got some detail underneath, not much. But, um, looks very nice. And um, if you're a modeler and maybe a scratch builder, you can buy <laughs> two of these mm -hmm. and um, modify it, convert one. I think these are too small to rotate. I don't want to break them. So this is, um, these are turbo lasers. I'm not sure what this is. Probably the turbo lasers as well. And um, it's a very nice radar dish. This also rotates. Also pops out. For you who build um, tank models, it's. Um, very common way of attaching things that needs to rotate. I don't know, if I buy another one, takes the turret off and put it there, puts it there, do I get uh, more attacks? It's worth a shot. As you can see, the paint job is um, very nice. It's the actual, um, it's the ordinary way of base paint and uh, base paint and the wash and then we have some chipping on the red actually very nice and that's it for me have fun gaming